Yo, what's good, guys? It is Colton from Midi Beats, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all uh, like a little deconstructive video of what I did to make this Juice World melody. So, like after I listened to that album that just dropped, uh, if you haven't listened to it, go listen to it. It's uh, really good. But yeah, in honor of Juice World, uh, I wanted to make a melody and make a video of you know a style similar to juice or nick mira or you know anything melodic so yeah i'm just gonna show y'all what i did show you all the layers uh show you every step that went into making the melody so let's get into it so this is what the melody sounds like uh after it's all exported and finished so i'll let y'all hear that the drums <clears throat> sorry to fix that uh, my webcam was blurry but anyways y'all get the idea yeah so after I listened to the album I noticed that there was like kind of like analog sounds and I also heard some like arps and it was very melodic which is what juice world kind of always has been melodic and like emotional so I'll go through all the layers and show you what I did. All right, so this is the first layer. It is Omnisphere. Let me go see the preset. All right, so the preset is Mysterioso Vibe. I don't even know. I didn't do anything to the preset. I just liked how it was. All I really did was, uh, yeah, added some gross beat and cut out the lows. I cut out the lows like kind of hard because I wanted that high end in the melody because, uh, I didn't want it to interact with any of the other uh, layers that I had, so I just cut it out kind of a lot. Sometimes you don't want to cut out a lot of stuff, but I decided to it to do that in this melody because it was actually interfering with a bunch of the other layers that I had, or not a bunch, but the two other layers that I had. So I'll let y'all hear what this sounds like. I'll just skip to it. Yeah, so it's pretty soft. You can hear like uh, kind of a detune. Like I didn't add that. It was just it was just a part of the preset, and it was it sounded good to me. So I just left it. But as you can hear, it is like it's in the high end, and that's what you really want when you're making melodies. You want like you want to make sure that you're covering the whole the whole EQ besides the bass obviously but yeah so you want to make sure that like none of your layers are just crashing together and it can really sound like muddy and just not good all right so this is the next layer it is i think it was a one shot kit from pilgrim not one shot kit it was a one shot bell from pilgrim this is what that sounds like Yeah, so it's pretty basic. Uh, it doesn't look basic, but I really just started with chords and built off of it. Yeah, all the it's really all the same. All the layers are the same, except in some of the some of the layers I just changed a little bit. So for uh, for this pattern, I just added some top notes. Uh, yeah, I just took the chords and added some top notes. So for this melody, what I did, uh, let me go to the EQ. I cut out the bass, not all the way, because uh, if you do that, sometimes you can do that, but uh, a lot of the times you want to keep some of the bass in it. Uh, you don't want to cut it out too much, so it keeps the it keeps the song sounding full. So yeah, that's what I did for this melody, and I upped some of the highs because I felt like it was a little bit too soft. I don't really know how to explain it. It was just like the sound that I chose was a little bit too soft and didn't hit hard enough. So when I upped the highs or the mids, uh, they hit, actually hit harder and made it sound more full and the other effect that I have on this is effect rack it's the basic vintage punch I didn't change anything about it yeah, all this effect did was really it says it in the title just vintage punch like made it louder uh, added a little like oldness to it like vintage basically 
So yeah, I'll play that for y'all with it off and with it on. This with it on. And that's with it off. So again, it just all really, it didn't do much. Like, I'm not really going crazy with all the effects and stuff on this melody. I just really took some time uh, for just the sound selection. That's that's really like one of the most important things when you're making melodies is sound selection. So I made sure that was like really good. So this is the last layer that I had. It's another Omnisphere. This is actually an ARP. I'll show you what preset this is. So uh, with this sound, I was going through the sounds and this is like, uh, this was more of the analog, like what I was talking about that I've that you heard in some of the songs in his new album. Uh, I think it was, yeah, it was Conversations and Fighting Demons. Those were the two songs that really like inspired me to make this, and 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 both of those songs are definitely Conversations had like that analog bell or whatever. So I wanted to find something similar to that. So I found this preset in Omnisphere that is an ARP. It's called Dances with Distance. Uh, I'll turn off the gross beat so y'all can hear what it sounds like without it. So yeah, it does sound good without the gross beat, but it was a little bit too fast for me, so I decided to put some halftime on it. And again, like I said, this is like that analog sound that I kept hearing in the album. So yeah, that's, that's a this is a really good preset. Uh, I decided to write it down. There's so many sounds in Omnisphere that I like to keep track of what my favorite uh, favorite sounds are. Some of the plugins have like have like a rating you can do, and you can save the sound your your favorite sounds, but. I'm not sure if Omnisphere has that. I mean, it might have it, but I haven't figured it out, obviously. So I just save it like in my phone or something. And I actually recommend doing that because uh, when you're on B block and stuff, you can just like go to the sounds that are your favorite. And a lot of the times that a lot of times you will just like come up with some ideas or when you hear your favorite sound, like it's just a lot easier to make melodies when you don't have as much inspiration. All right, so this is what the melody sounds like with the halftime. Yeah, so this layer and the one shot layer, these are the ones, these are the layers that like give it that melodic kind of feel. Same thing with the chords, uh, they're, I made sure they were pretty like emotional and like, and a good way to do that is uh, seventh chords and minor chords, those are good for making like melodic and emotional music. So yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the melody is, like it's really basic. Like it's crazy how much you can do with just this one pattern, this one, uh, chord progression and you can just add on to that and it's, it's really easy a lot of times I actually don't use arps, but when I'm doing melodic stuff like this uh, There's a lot of good arps that you can use and it makes it honestly a lot easier to like Honestly, just like it just makes like a melody for you basically. So yeah, I'll let y'all hear the whole thing uh, Yeah, this is pitched up. So I'll let y'all hear it without like it being exported and stuff That's basically it. it's it's really simple. Uh, I added some. These are not any special drums. I just like to like basically test my melodies to make sure that they go good. You can actually make a beat out of them. So uh, I'll let you hear the beat. It's not really anything special, but yeah, just to give you a reference. I'm gonna move the drums to the front so you can hear it with the ARP.
like I said, it's pretty basic. Uh, you don't really need to do much. Like, yeah, so nothing, nothing crazy. Uh, I just made sure my sound selection was good, and that's really it. Like, yeah, you can make some sound pretty complex with just, to be honest, like not much of a melody, just some like top notes and uh, some chords. Uh, you can make some sound complex. So that's pretty much all I have for this video. Uh, I'll be coming out with more videos of me actually making melodies like live or not live but like uh like from scratch yeah so make sure you stay tuned for that uh like and subscribe oh yeah and also if you're a producer and you want more melodies like this uh we actually have a loop kit out uh it's in the description yeah it's like 52 samples uh sort of similar to this we actually have all styles it's like travis scott juice world it's just a whole bunch of samples that uh that me and my brother came up with uh, so if you're interested in that, you can go check it out in the description. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, like I said, make sure you like and subscribe so you don't miss another video. Because we will be coming out with like probably one or two every week, to be honest. So, uh, so yeah, you want to make sure you don't miss out on that. And that's about it. I'll see you all in the next video.